Hey everyone, this is Nick Dearbertis teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise on DCF stock prices with terminal values. This is part of our lecture series on free cash flow estimation and forecasting as part of a broader goal in the course to develop the full discounted cash flow valuation of a stock. So this lecture exercise came at the very end of the valuation material at the end of the slide deck. Um, and is basically um, giving us uh, four different ratios uh, for the exit multiple approach and also a growth rate for the perpetuity growth method. Um, and is asking us to calculate uh, five different stock prices based on these different approaches for the terminal value. Um, so I'm going to bring this over to my other uh, screen so that I can um, see it because I have to bring over a lot of values. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting in all these values. So we have uh, EV to EBITDA, uh, which has a uh, value of 18.58. We have EV to sales has a value of 1.92, EV to FCF has a value of 11.82. We have the E has a value of 39.30. We have uh, each free cash flow is going to be uh, 1.394. Three to four billion. Um, we have what else? Um, we have the final EBITDA is uh, one point five billion. We have uh, the final sales is um. 7.8 billion. We have final net income is 232 million. Um, and then we have um, the current total debt um, as um, 11.6 billion. We have, uh, cash as 4.8 billion. And, uh, shares outstanding is, uh, 561 million. The WAC is 10%, the growth is 3%, and I believe I've managed to um, grab all those values here. Yep. So those are all the values we're working with. Now we need to look at calculating the terminal values. So we're going to have uh, five different terminal values here. So, um, for those terminal values, uh, we have three coming from enterprise value ratios. So let's deal with those first, because for those, uh, we would just take, um, you know, the measure and multiply it by uh, the corresponding um, final uh, value that is the denominator of the ratio. So we can say terminal value EBITDA. Um, then we're going to have the terminal value from sales multiple as EV sales times uh, the final sales. Um, and we're going to have uh, the same thing for the uh, free cash flow as well. OK, 
Okay. Um, but we. Oh, so there, free cash flow is the same in each year. So there, we just use the FCF. Okay, and then um, for the price earnings, we multiply the price earnings times the final net income. What that gets us is uh, a final equity value. And then um, the, the final um, period debt is not provided. We can just assume it's the same as the beginning debt. Um, and so the terminal value from the PE approach is going to be the final equity plus the uh, total debt and minus the catch. Um, so we can, uh, now we have all these four different um, terminal values. Uh, we can get the fifth possible terminal value with the um, perpetuity growth method. So for the perpetuity growth method, we're going to take the uh, free cash flow from the final period, multiply it by one plus the growth rate. We're going to take all that and divide it by um, the uh, WAC minus the growth rate. Um, so this gets us our terminal value from the perpetuity method. And so now we have these five different um, terminal values. Um, and so let's just um, take the, the EBITDA one for now so we can work out the approach to get the stock price from the um, terminal value. So uh, the free cash flows are going to be um, the same free cash flow for four periods, and then it's going to be uh, the free cash flow plus the terminal value. Um, so we get fame for four periods, and then the sum of the two. Um, and then we need to uh, import NumPy. And we can use NumPy to take the MPV of, uh, which comes first, the rate, yep, um, so the WAC, and then the free cash flows. And remember that NumPy's MPV assumes that the first period is period zero. So we're gonna wanna put a zero there uh, before that. Um, so then this gets us our present value of the cash flows. So this would be our equity or enterprise value, current enterprise value. Um, and we can get our current equity as uh, reversing the formula. Um, so um, it's, you know, enterprise value is equity plus debt minus cash. So if we wanna get the equity portion, then it's going to be enterprise value minus debt plus cash. Um, so enterprise value minus debt uh, plus cash. And then uh, the price is going to be the equity divided by the number of shares. So that should get us, um, what is it? Oh, total debt, not just debt. So that gets us to a final stock price. Um, so we can make this a function, um, the stock price from uh, TV. So that we're gonna pass the terminal value as well as the free cash flow, uh, the WAC, uh, the uh, total debt, cash, and the shares. Um, and we can have this print a nice string with the price as well. The, and we can maybe put a method name 
price with the uh, method name. Method is uh, price with dollar sign before it um, with commas, two decimal places. Okay, so that means that we can call this stock price from TV with that TV, the free cash flow, the WAC, total debt, cash, shares. Uh, and this one was the EBITDA uh, exit multiple. Um, so then we get price with the EBD, EBD, EBITDA exit multiple method is 27.74. So now that we have this nice function, we can go apply it to the different different um, per, uh, different terminal values. So I'm going to create a dictionary here um, where the keys are going to be the name of the method. So like EB to EBITDA exit multiple. Um, I'm going to put the EB EBITDA. Um, then we have what are the others? Uh, EB to sales. Exit multiple EV sales. We have EV to FCF, exit multiple TV FCF. We have uh, PE, exit multiple TV PE. And we have the perpetuity growth uh, TV perpetuity. Um, and we can put in the uh, percentage growth rate there as well. Um, so now we have all those values in there. And so now we can loop over the dictionary uh, for method uh, TV and items. We're going to call this function um, with TV, FCF, and here uh, just put method now. And so now we can see the result of all of these. Um, so EB to EBITDA 2774, EBITDA sales 1367, FCF, um, and so on. And we have all of those um, displayed nicely for us. So that's a quick overview of how you can um, get to the stock price from um, a variety of different terminal value approaches. So thanks for listening and see you next time.